All right, uh, Coach O2 Johnson, Caleb Growl, uh, Conference Carolina Wrestling Championships today. Won against King, fell short today against Lander. Just your initial thoughts from today's performances. Obviously, uh, we came out a little flat against King. Um, you know, obviously that's, uh, I think there's a lot to do with a uh, little layoff we've had um, from our last competition. But, you know, um, it was great that we were able to rebound right away in the next match. You know, yeah, the score is not indicative of uh, the way the guys have competed out there in each match. Um, you know, with the exception of one match at 157, I thought the guys, each of those guys went out there and fought hard. You know, uh, gave it everything they had and, and really pushed their opponents to uh, to the brinks. Um, obviously, you know, there are no more victories in this thing. Um, you know, so we we got we got we got to do better at finishing those positions, and we got to do better of you know staying staying engaged from 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 minute one to minute seven. And I think if we could do that in a couple of weeks, we'll have a chance to uh, I think ideally have a different result and, and you know be be in a position to uh, you know horse the regional championship. And I, I believe in every single one of our guys, and I believe every single one of them can go out there and, and get the job done moving forward. So um, we got to we got to do our jobs as coaches to put those guys in a position in the room. Training wise, to uh, you know, fix those things. Those are things. Those are definitely fixable situations, and we got to get them to, uh, to realize that you know um, they have the gas tank and believe in themselves. And you know, you want to respect your opponent, but you don't want to respect them to a point where you shut your offense off. And I think uh, there are a couple of situations in the duel tonight that we, we gave a little too much respect. And when we realize, hey, we can we can we can compete with these guys and we can dominate these guys. You know, at this level. You give up a takedown, especially a three-point takedown. You know it's, it's very difficult to uh, to come back from, and and we got to realize that our offense works too. If we go out there and fire away like we know how, you know we'll be the ones in the driver's seat. Was there anything different you guys saw at a Lander, or you guys maybe did different from the last time you faced Lander from November? No, we just had belief. You know we've gone two and a half months training, fixing things, getting these guys prepared, getting them in better shape, and and. Uh, you know, we didn't have to change anything. I mean, again, with the exception of uh, belief in ourselves and, and knowing that we can go out there and compete with them in every single position. You know, you know, at this time of the year, there's no, there's no, there's no fixing too many things besides belief. Uh, Caleb, a uh, couple matches today. Just how you evaluate your performance and just overall the team performances. Uh, well, team performance. You know, I think the score doesn't really show like how well we wrestled. You know, I mean, if you look at the box score. A lot of them are just like two point, three point close matches. You know, if you look at the score, team score, it kind of looks like a blowout. So, you know, there I think we wrestled pretty well overall, especially against the Lander, Lander duel. But uh, I would say me, I felt like I was wrestling pretty good. You know, I just couldn't get it done at the end when I needed to. Uh, Coach, like you mentioned earlier, it was it was very tight matches against Lander. Can you just maybe talk about, you know, despite not being able to close out with the win, just talk about how your team was able to handle the performance through all 10 matches. Yeah, you know, it's pressure. You want pressure. And, uh, you know, we, we're, we're very privileged to have the pressure that we have to have a team like Lander in our region that we get to compete against. You know, no doubt we want to win the, win, win the conference championships, but, uh, you know, um, we have another goal in front of us that we still have the ability to achieve at the, at the regional championship in a couple of weeks. And they ultimately go at the end of the year, you know, to, to punch as many guys through the national tournament as possible and, and get get as many All Americans as possible. And uh, you know, we're in position to be to be one of the top four trophy teams in the country. And I, I believe that obviously when you got a guy like Caleb Grau, you know, stepping up and doing what he's been doing over the last month and a half, you know, his his only losses to the guys that rank number one in the country for the very last second takedown. Um, that's impressive one, and it shows that you know he's he's doing all the things we've asked him to do. He's not over wrestling, but he's also not under wrestling as well, um, and, and that, that 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 means a lot. You know, he he beat a he beat a all American, and a currently ranked wrestler in the country, and he's right there. You know, uh, uh, I think with a few things, and again with a little bit more pizzazz at the beginning of the match. You know, he put this guy you know, on on his heels, and uh, you know he's able to uh, close the match out. He has that ability. He's capable, and we know he's capable. And we're going to do our job. We got to do our job to continue to put him in those positions. To be able to see that, and, contest, and consistently grind those positions, so when we get that opportunity again, we'll uh, we'll capitalize on it. And then for either of you guys, uh, what does the preparation look like for the Super Regions coming up? Nothing really changes. You know, stay the course. Honestly, just keep doing what we're doing, getting better each day. Yeah. And then, oh, go ahead. I mean, we, we we get a chance. We get two weeks here to get healthier. Um, that right now, that's the name of the game. We're we're pretty healthy right now. Um, we get two more weeks to. 
you know, get these guys in a little bit more better shape. Um, I don't know if that's the proper terminology, but we, we can, we're going to get them in better shape and get them more confident. You know, focus on some mindset stuff that we uh, that we that we've been doing, and, and I think it's paid dividends for these guys to know that they can do it. Everything these guys are doing, you know, people at the highest level, MLB, NBA, you know, NHL, NFL, are doing. So they know they're not. You know, the, the, the opponents aren't superhuman, and they know their opponents do the same thing they do. They just got to believe in themselves and, and, and take it to them. And, uh, you know, preparation isn't going to change too much. We just got to get all 59 guys bought in and know everyone still has a job, and we all got to stay locked in and, and, and look to finish this thing. All right, that's it. Thank you, guys. Absolutely.